So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the Fisher Space Pen Infinium. We've talked a lot about Fisher pens on this channel or Fisher Space Pen pens on this channel, but I uh, haven't really talked about the Infinium at all. The company is best known for their AG7 and CH4 astronaut pens, but this is a newer model that has a lot of differences from some of their classic models. So it's called the Infinium, and basically what the name implies uh, pretty directly is that it's supposed to write forever. It's supposed to like have a lifetime of writing in it. Now all of Fisher Space Pen's pens are, uh, they have a lifetime warranty, but that's against breaking and different sort of damage like that. They're not worn, they don't have a warranty against wearing out because they have a refill, you take the refill out and put the new refill in and it's no big deal. This one does not have a refill in it. Instead, the, the body is filled with ink and it has a lot more ink than a standard Fisher pen. So Fisher ballpoint pens like that AG7 and the CH4 have ballpoint ink, which is a really thick ink and they last for a really, really long time. Something like, I think six or seven miles of writing, which is a lot. This pen has even more ink than one of those. I think something like three or four times the capacity of those pens. So basically this pen should write for like the length of a natural human life, give or take. I'm not sure how easy it is to measure that or how much writing that really means, but basically the pen has a massive amount of ballpoint ink in it. It's pressurized, so it won't fail. It's not gonna you know, stop halfway the, uh, the way a gel pen might. You, know, you could see it has half its ink in it, and it doesn't write. That's not really a problem with a ballpoint pen like this. So basically, you should be able to buy this pen and write for a very, very long time. So here's the pen. It's all metal. It looks a lot like one of those Fisher Space Age pens. It uh, has no plastic at all. None of the parts come off. You can't remove the front piece. You can remove the clip if you want, but you can't take it apart. There's no refill in it. You can't refill it yourself. If something happens with it, you have to send it back to fa uh, Fisher. If it ran out of ink, theoretically, if you just said, okay, uh, I'm just gonna use this pen forever and you use it every day and you write a lot or whatever, then you would send it back to Fisher and they would send you a new one. I've used the Fisher lifetime warranty a few times, or uh, I guess twice actually. And both times the company is really great to work with. And I really do believe they take their warranty, their lifetime warranty very, very seriously. Here's the cap. Again, all metal. It's, uh, the cap is like kind of lightweight and it's really easy to lose. So if you're not, if it's not on the pen, you really need to put the cap on the back. Otherwise it'll just kind of roll off somewhere and there's really nothing stopping it from just disappearing. And then you have a, you know, a pen that'll write forever with no cap on it, which is pretty annoying. So the cap does fit on really well. Here it has a nice pressure fit, but uh, it's a little bit loose here. Not problematically loose, just a little bit loose. And then there's no roll, roll stop or anything like that. Was the clip itself is on the pen, not on the cap. Like I said, the clip does come off. If you want, you can just slide it off. Uh, I really like the clip, so I keep it on there. It's a nice clip. It says Infinium on it. You see that Fisher Space Pen logo is at the top. And then there's some writing over here. I don't know where it says... 2010 Space Pen Fisher, oh, by Fisher, USA. All these pens are made in the USA. So the pen itself is actually rather short. Here is it with a cap on. It's one, two, three, a little bit over four inches long. Uncapped, one, two, three, about four inches long and posted, which is how you would use it most of the time. Now you're at one, two, three, four, five and a half. So now you're at the length of a kind of, kind of a normal pen. And let's see what I have lying around here. So here's a kind of a normal gel pen. And here's a normal gel pen, the way you would write with it like that. Posted, a normal pen will be about the same length. So, you know, a little bit over five inches, but if you were to take the cap off and use it just because you, you know, you had this in your pocket and you were right with it, it would be a little bit short. You definitely have like a good inch 
shorter than a standard pen. It's kind of more of a pocket pen like that. It's just that when it's posted, now you kind of get a normal pen. It is on the thick side relative to a standard pen. So you have to make sure when you're getting into this pen that you are good with, uh, you know, like a 12, I don't have my measurement tools handy, but maybe a 12 or 13 millimeter thickness at the grip. And that grip is quite nice. It has uh, this sort of grippy knurling in it, even though it's only horizontal lines, it has a lot of uh, really comfortable sort of like friction to it. And it's like directional. So it feels a lot of grip going this way and not so much going this way. It's really, really well done. Just like with the AG7 and the CH4, Fisher does a really nice job with, the with their metal work. So one of the things with the pen is that you have to hold it a little bit far up because this front piece is relatively long. You can look at it relative to, again, kind of a standard stick pen. Look where the grip starts here versus where it starts here. Big difference there. And then also, like many pens, you know, like the, uh, uh, what am I thinking of? Like the Lamy Dialogue and the, and the uh, Pilot Vanishing Point, the clip kind of is interrupts where you're writing. It's, the clip is pretty close to the grip. So you have to hold it in a way where the clip won't get in the way. If you hold it here, it's not, it's not a disaster, but it's kind of poking you. So you want to hold it here or put it somewhere where it's out of the way. And that's just kind of how it is. You could push the clip up, but then you can't post the cap. You have a, I would, what I would say to be a better looking pen and a more comfortable pen, and it will still, the cap will still go on, but then you cannot, again, you can't post the cap. So if you're never gonna post the cap and you're just, you're good and disciplined about putting it right in your pocket when you're not using it and not letting it just roll around until it you know, falls off and just disappears one day, then you can keep it like this. But realistically, you're gonna have to keep the clip down and just when you write with this thing, just grab it in the right way, which is not a major problem. Here is that front tip. It's not replaceable, so you wanna be a little bit careful with it, but it's a ballpoint pen tip, so it's not like it's gonna break. One of the big things with this pen is uh, <laughs> kind of like what color you get it in. It sounds like an obvious question, but if you're buying a pen that's gonna last for a long time, basically forever, and it costs $150 like this one, you wanna be sure that you either want blue or black. I have it in blue, but I'd imagine most people go for black. Comes with some materials, pretty nice looking gift box here uh, with a nice foam insert. It's pretty well done. This is sort of like an executive or gifty type pen. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could buy this pen for yourself, obviously, but it's kind of more like something that you would give to someone, especially in this colorway. This is called the gold nitride or gold titanium nitride, I think. And it's basically this gold coating. It's not like a standard gold plating. It's not 18 karat or something like that. It's gold titanium nitride, which is what Fisher does. It's also sold in a, a silver color and then a uh, sort of like a gunmetal type black color, which is pretty cool. It's not too much in the materials. It has the lifetime warranty, but all the Fisher space pens, pens have a lifetime warranty. It uses Fisher's pressurized ballpoint ink so in addition to lasting basically forever, it will write you know, in negative 30 degrees and in a freezer and in a, a crazy heat wave, 250 degrees is no joke, underwater, upside down, in space, and all those other places. Uh, here's the Fisher Space Pen story, but all of these are included in all of Fisher's pens. There's nothing specific about the Infinium that's included. Do a quick writing sample. The writing is basically not too much different than a standard Fisher space pen. You will have some of that little gunk when you start. That's because the inside of the pen is pressurized, right? That's kind of the deal with the Fisher ballpoint pens. That's why they write upside down and underwater because you have pressurized ink. It kind of wants to come out. Part of that pressure means it pushes ink out. And if you're not going to use the pen for a few days or a few weeks, or whatever, even a few years, you will accumulate a little bit of stuff at the end. It's not a lot. But that's what happens, and that's what's supposed to happen. It's really not a big deal, uh, and it's just that little, little bit. I haven't used a pen in maybe two or three days, and I let it accumulate so everyone can see that. So this is the 
Fisher Space Pen. This is the Infinium I U M. Obviously in blue. This is a medium tip. I don't even know if this pen is sold in other tip sizes. So this is the blue medium. And it, it writes just like a Fisher Space Pen PR4. So if you have an AG7 or CH4 or B4 or G4, any of the standard Fisher pens, or maybe you just bought a Fisher uh, SPR4 refill, then uh, you'll know how this writes. It, it's, a, it's a solid but not really extraordinary blue or black ballpoint pen. It just, the thing is that it's always ready to go. It writes on anything and it lasts basically forever in the case of that standard refill, which is called the PR4. And then I guess essentially forever if you get it in the Infinium. I've had this pen for, uh, for months now and it's still going strong. I guess I will check back in in a few years and maybe do a follow-up video, but so far it's, it's lasting really well. And my biggest concern with it is, uh, is basically that I'm going to lose it or I'm going to lose the cap. And that means the pen will still have ink. It'll still be functional, but you know, someone else will own it or, uh, I'll have it without a cap, which is just annoying, but I'm pretty sure Fisher will be able to get me another cap. They've been really good about their customer service. So the pen is expensive. It costs about $150. Uh, I'm not going to say it's worth it or not. Like clearly for $150, you could buy like a thousand cheap ballpoint pens and never have to worry about having a pen again. So that is a concern that just like from a dollars and cents standpoint, this doesn't make sense. But the point is it's a cool pen. It'll be with you forever or at least last you forever. It's got a great warranty behind it. It's made in the USA. It's made by a company that is really like a heritage pen maker and has been making great products for a very long time. So you have to buy it for those reasons, not just because it's gonna last a long time and it's a smart economic decision, which it, it really isn't, but uh, it is a cool pen. So that's the Fisher Infinium in gold and nitride. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.